Hello and welcome to episode 265 of the Drive the Green podcast. I'm your host, Maddie B, joined in studio by Bronel Harv and Knoop. On this episode, it's the Masters recap. We recap John Rahm's hunt down of Brooks Kepka or Brooks' ultimate dude wipes uh, of a Masters, I guess, back nine. Once again, we were um, kind of robbed of, of back nine drama, but we'll get into all of it uh, shortly. We're also... Uh, the show goes on. It's RBC Heritage Week, so we'll <laughs> briefly talk about that, I'm sure. So. We could just take <laughs> an the elevated Rory event. Route. It's yeah. an elevated event. Right? Yeah, we can take the Rory route and just skip it, but we'll we'll uh, we'll dabble for sure. It's uh, we got to get our best bets and our picks in. That that show also goes on. Uh, right. But before we want before we get into that, we want to thank our sponsors, Player Golf, PLYRGolf.com. Use the promo code Drive the Green for twenty percent off your order. I saw the uh, Player Cup went up at Urban Golf this past week in Saskatoon. Um, looked like they had a ton of fun. I think uh, Dietz and Lovat, uh, some local pros, um, took the title. Dietz so, won at his own course, yeah. or his own place. Donated the prize back, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dietz and Lovat, yeah, I believe. Probably bumped but, up the elevation and playing in Mexico. <laughs> They're just yeah, bombing yeah. balls up yeah. there on their sim. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it looked like a lot of fun, which is a good reminder to get uh, registered for player cups. If you haven't already, including the, uh, May 13th, it's like a month away, the, uh, player nines kickoff tournament presented by drive the green. I think there's some spots left. I haven't talked to chase this week. Uh, but I know last week it was getting full. So if you're thinking about it and you listen to the show, you better get on it soon because it will fill up. We'll be right full. We're excited. Nice. The snow is finally melting. So we're actually going to be able to play. Come maybe May 13th, I think. Oh, in Elbow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys. <laughs> maybe not here. No uh, oh. We're also members of Team Callaway. In case you didn't know, John Rom is a member of Team Callaway. Congratulations to him. Ever since he put that paradigm in the bag, um, it's been uh, it's been quite the ride this past year. I saw a crazy stat, uh, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, but uh, for the second year in a row, the guy who won the Masters won his fourth tournament of the year. Yeah. Like that's wild. Nuts. Yeah. That is uh, a fun stat. Yeah. So uh, congrats to John and Team Callaway. Uh, and last but not least, we're members of the Churchill family. We're having some lawnmowers. I went to two separate events or gatherings or just like stopping over at people's houses this past week. Both times walked in with a six-pack of lawnmowers. And just like it, it just gets people asking, oh, what are those? what's that bright green six-pack <laughs> you have? Yep. So then I proceed to tell them. Uh, this is the best beer in the world. You should have one. And then I pass them out. Next thing you know, I only have one, and I'm sad. But uh, but yeah, it's happy to share the wealth. Thanks to Churchill for uh, sponsoring us. And uh, I guess let's get into, I'm sure, a quick set of weeks here uh, because the Masters was our week. Yes. Um, mm. I'll go first because uh, I rarely do, and I didn't have – fuck all to talk about uh nothing like i mentioned a couple friends came down over for the easter weekend so I had a chance to visit with one friend on friday one friend on saturday and that was it masters and friends uh you got lots easter of friends week. eh uh, i'd like to find myself in social situations <laughs> uh oh and went to trivia brona was on a separate team beat our <laughs> beat our candy asses no big uh, deal. i went with some co-workers <laughs> uh for a uh, team building exercise uh, last year we didn't fare too well, so we beat our score from last year. So that was good, um, and yeah, that was it. Went to the casino. We got thirty-four out of forty and didn't even place. We were thirty out of forty, which I think last year we got like twenty-one out of forty. So that's yeah, big time joke. <laughs> yeah, Who makes bro- these questions? Uh, there's like <laughs> a, I've been meaning to. There's a random, random nerds. Master. Random nerds. <laughs> random <laughs> nerds. It's a different nerd every week. <laughs> Uh, he was pretty easy this week. Didn't you say you've made the questions before? Oh, he is yeah. a nerd. I'm though. a random nerd too. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's just, just never I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> He's just never done sure. it. I've never Bobby's done place. it. No, I've never yeah. done it for them. You probably no. would oh, you be good. Just for my parents' little home trivia games. Yeah. Well, I think you did it for work. The one and for I'm work. Yeah. Yeah. Can okay, you yeah. apply yeah. To, to host one at Bobby's place? I could probably go up and say, yeah. I'd love to Want go. Want me to do I'm here every week. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah. Golf uh, question every round. Yeah. You definitely have to have it. There was not one sports question in those 40 questions last week. Got to have at least one or two. It's Masters week, and they didn't have one Masters question. Even just so that the people that are there, that are just like not there for trivia, that's like, oh, trivia is going on. Yeah, sure, yeah. I'll play. They can get one. Mm-hmm. But you know, nerds and sports don't mix. 
Right? But like but one around is so fine. Haven't but you ever watched Jeopardy when the sports category is up and they go zero for five? Yeah. yeah, but that's the best yeah. part about going. And you like, wipe the. Th- if you four? know, oh, if yeah. you know yeah. sports, and you go to a trivia night with the other general clientele of trivia night, and then you get that question right, you feel so good about yourself. Oh, You're yeah. like, oh, I fucking know this one. Yeah. And it's just like the simplest yeah. question ever. Um, <laughs> anyway, we might cut that part out. Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, let's get into, well, my week uh, for booze count. Uh, like I said, watch the Masters. Um, I had 15 drinks this week. So oh. as, as much okay. as was going on, I didn't get uh, too crazy. Um, 15, so I'm at 37 on the month, 221 on the year. Two twenty one on the twenty one. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I will. I'll go next. I get. I'm going to be just as quick. Uh, we ended up taking off for the weekend. We left Thursday. Went up to my in laws. Hung out there with my brother in law and a bunch of Kirsten's extended family. Uh, come back Sunday. More packing uh, and a ton of golf. Uh, I watched it every chance I could. So. Uh, <laughs> 11 drinks this week, five beer, so 130 on the year, and 46 beer. Okay. Nice and quick for me. Yeah, it's very quick. Yep. I don't need to tell you guys I'm packing still. So. That's it. That's your life for the yep. next couple of weeks. You guys are finally starting to go quicker in weeks. That's now, you got a long one? No, I don't. No. I was actually just going to save my booze count and move on. Yeah, well, it's Masters well, week. I just remembered that I went to the Super Mario movie this week, too. Oh, so, so did I. So did I. Um, Worth it? Good. It's actually that? pretty good. I liked it. Yeah. It's, it's good. Really it, like, kids liked point. it. It's to the point. Like yeah. It yeah. Zooms through it. Yes. They didn't clear. try and make it more than it had to be. Yeah. yeah. They had the, the, a lot of the game references. and I was kind of mad that we didn't stay for the you know, little thing after the... Oh, Easter egg at the end's good. Like, those bug me. Well, they bug you. They should bug you for kids' movies. What kid wants to sit there and watch seven minutes yeah. of credits? Yeah. We want to get the fuck out of there. We had... Was there two or three the bladders that were need, the needed to be emptied? No, there's two. Oh, we didn't stay for the second one. So the funny part is the only reason why my son got to even see it is because I stayed in there. I was literally the only person left. And then the cleaner guys are in there. Lights come Any on. Any ghosts in there or no? No ghosts. Oh, different time. auditorium, I guess. <laughs> no, there's too many people there. The ghost was scared, probably. Uh-huh. So it was, it was pretty much right full. So that's oh, why yeah. the ghost, oh, the ghost yeah, isn't yeah. going to do it. Yeah. Uh, I won't God lie. When I went, there wasn't, like, we were there early and I was like, there, we were no one. We were the only ones in there for like twenty minutes, and I was like, "We got We got I'm situation. watching anyone who comes in <laughs> and checking behind me. Yep. And I'm gonna have my peripherals on in case they walk out just to see." Yeah, but. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I sat in there. Everyone left uh, after the first end of credits, and then I always stay. Like I stay until the movie's done. Like credits, everything, black screen. That's when I leave. Okay. The only reason why my son got to see it. <laughs> Is because he came back in and said, Dad, are you coming? Like, I had been in there for the whole seven minutes of credits. Yeah. My wife and kid, other kid are leaving. It's like, Dad, are we going? I'm like, no, there's one after. So then we sit down in the very front row. I'm like, how dumb are these seats? I said to him as we're looking straight <laughs> up at the screen. And then, the, and then it came on. And so he's like, oh, I'm glad we stayed. I'm like, well, I stayed. You just came back to get me. But yeah. That's why you don't leave early. It was good. It was oh, very now I'm mad. good. I just thought it was that first one. No, and it's it's and we almost stayed because my kids were just down the front, like dancing to the Mario yeah. theme down on the front of the thing. We're the only ones in there. I'm like, okay, let's go. There's nothing else. Yeah. yeah. But the thing I wanted to bring about that movie is, so I was there with my whole family, and we were the only people there with kids. There no was way. honestly a group of four grandparents. What time was the showing? Twelve forty-five. PM. PM. Like it was the first Not show. Not AM. <laughs> Not AM. <laughs> first showing <laughs> of the day, and we were the only ones there with kids. There wasn't another kid in there, and there was probably thirty more people in there. That's insane. Mm. Yeah, that yeah. Is I don't weird. I don't believe that at all. <laughs> there was a gr- there was <laughs> honestly a group of people. Four old people came in, two of them had walkers. They sat in the front row. <laughs> Why? How <laughs> yeah, why are you going to this? <laughs> they must have already seen John Wick. Nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Dungeons and Dragons was sold out, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's four. There's four like teenagers, and I was wondering why they were there. But yeah, it was yeah. weird. Uh, yeah, I guess that was everybody's week except for mine. Um, Fourteen drinks this week. Okay. So one eighty and ninety nine on the okay. year. Okay. Oh, love it. 
Not yep. bad. Uh, I guess I'll, I go, I'll go. I'll be the last one here. I got two weeks to cover. Oh, All right. Um, you missed last week again. How many have you missed this year? <laughs> two or three, maybe. Two or three? Five. I think five? It's five. I think it's five. It ain't five. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It is. Name them. That you have not been in this seat? <laughs> Name five. them then. That You're bear's not? been here more than you have, I think. <laughs> you can't count the ones I called in. Yes, we can. It's not sitting in the seat. I just said you were not sitting in the seat. Oh, that doesn't count. It does count, for sure. Five. It's not five. Do the homework. Bring it up next week. With I think it's I will. four. It might be four. Well, the Bears sat there three times, right? At least. And At we didn't least. even start. Guys, and we didn't even start. Three tops. Well, the Dude, Bears sat there three so times, so. and the Bear didn't start at the start of the year. So I think you missed one before that because you were mm-hmm. j- end of January you were gone, and the Bear didn't even start yet. Yep. Well, let's hear about your ninth trip of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went, went to Vegas, Vegas last <laughs> week. Um, I don't know. Vegas is a little overrated. <laughs> Everywhere he goes. I didn't say it was a dump. It's certainly which overrated. Which I could have very well said it was a dump because... Yeah. They're getting like they're doing Formula One in Vegas in the fall, which would be yep. unbelievable to go to. Yes, but so they're like repaving the strip, so like there's mm, areas yep. that have like all the whatever you want to call it, the seating and all the yep. stuff behind the scenes that they got to build. So there's like normally it's a big sidewalk and it's down to like a one lane walking path, oh. people going both ways, yep. and you're just like running into people and then all the like hype men that are like pawning their shows and yeah, strip they're right clubs. On top, and yeah. They're right outside that bottleneck just waiting for everyone because they know everyone's got to come out yep. and right by them. So that got a little annoying, but yep. I don't know. It was good. I lost all my money right away, so that wasn't very good. <laughs> no. Um, but the shows it? were good. So like Matt, we went to Matt Franco. He was a really good show and mm-hmm. uh, went to the Cirque du Soleil Beatles one, and that was Love. really good. Anything Beatles related is good. Yeah. yeah Did like you just, make any golf bets? No, because I went to go, it was Wednesday night, and I'm like, oh, I got to go make golf bets. And I'm like, they have a sports book right in the thing. It was under renovation. So I couldn't, like, they were redoing under it. Under renovation? Weird. So I didn't Didn't want any. the bets. Didn't want money. I will I say. I mean, I would have lost all of them as well. So. Yeah. 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 I will say, um, I agree that it's a, it's a bit overrated, but it's definitely overrated as like a, because you just went, you and your wife. Yeah. That definitely is overrated. Like, if you go with a group of people, it you can, like, hide some of the shittiness about Vegas or the priciness. You just, like, go out for supper, and it's just, you're not just there, you and you and your wife. Uh, yeah, well, and the, the plan was to, like, she was going to hang go out by the four. pool, and just, like, she just yeah. wanted to go hang out by the pool, relax, and I go do whatever, gamble and whatnot, and then it was, like, four degrees Celsius all week there. That doesn't And, help. like, windy, so, like. Now there's nothing to do because yeah, that stinks. Like but you w- you're walking up and down the yeah, strip and like break. full on coats and pants and yeah, that wasn't great. really planned for it. But you didn't bring any warm clothes. Well, I brought a jacket and pants, but like there was people out there with like full parkas and toques on. Yeah, but I guess in, yeah. I'd just be inside the whole time. But that's kind of my thing is if the if you go with a group of people and the girls let's say want to be at the pool, then you at least have someone to go gamble yeah. with. Well, I mean, I'd have no problem going sitting and hitting the button by myself for a while. <laughs> Fair, yeah. Yeah, I've there's only, nothing wrong I've with been, gambling by yourself. I've <laughs> been <laughs> twice. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I've been twice, and both were with just my wife. So I would like to go with the Oh, it would people. be fun because, like, then if you're going with a bunch of guys, you do golfing down there. Yeah. Like, last time I went, we went golfing, and, like, that was fun. Was it pricey? No, it wasn't bad. And it was, like, a LPGA had played a tournament there before, so it was a nice course. And with renting clubs, it was, like, 80 bucks American. Oh, that's so it, it was good, but... Uh, and the, yeah, it's just expensive. Like the food is ridiculous. So you're yeah. like, okay, we'll go out for supper a few times, but then we'll go to like whatever White Castle or any of those other places. And it's everything's like thirty dollars for a yeah. meal. Yeah. For one person. Yeah. American. Really? Yeah. It, ain't it great. was ridiculously unless you're unless you're going to the fast food joints. We yeah. d- we were just gonna order in like no. uh you must service look- one night and it was just like a quesadilla and like just like appetizer stuff, and it was sixty bucks. You American. might as well just go to Gordon Ramsay every night. Exactly. That's what I said. Yeah. But anyways. Wellington's every night. Should have. Bro- if, <laughs> if Bronell went to Vegas, he wouldn't come back. Oh, yeah. You would. wouldn't. I don't think he would. I don't think I'd like it that much. Yeah. I don't think he we would went to the We went to the Shark <laughs> Reef Aquarium, which was pretty pretty cool. They, like, f- swim over your head and stuff like that. That was, that nice. was a fun thing. And then got to get an airport rant in here. So we... <laughs> 
Oh, wow. We plan, like, no no check bag. Like, just doing it so we don't have to wait for all that stuff. As you should. Yep. Go down smooth, no problems. We're going back. And for whatever reason, I checked in beforehand, but it wouldn't scan my passport. So I had to do the check-in at the thing. And the WestJet agent is like, oh, no, you got to go to the till. So I go up there. And she's like, yeah, you're checking that bag. I'm like, nope. Why would I do that? Whatever. She's like, oh, go, just go put it in that oh, bag checker. Oh, no. And like it, it goes in, and she's like, "No, that's too big." I'm like, "What do you mean? I didn't check it on the way down. Like, that's I'm not checking it." And she's like, "No, you, we're gonna have to make you check that bag, even so, though it fit in the yeah. Like the wheels were just like out the like it fit in, and then it was just like out the top. It's like just your small. standard bag, though. Yeah, it's just a regular. Roller every bag. single person has a bigger bag than me that didn't have to check their bag. I guarantee it. Wow. Hmm. Well, you it's the one I took to Toronto, and that had no issues. Yeah. You got flagged because your eyes were so red, probably. Could have been that, too. No. <laughs> I was just, like, looking around. And there she's like, we're going to have to make you check that bag. And I'm looking at everyone else in the thing. And I'm like, well, these guys aren't checking yeah. their bags. Why do I so check mine? So please, please don't tell me that you, it got lost. No, it didn't get oh, lost. Okay. I was 100% sure it was getting lost because <laughs> I, like, stormed away and didn't even see him put the tags on. So I was like, this is ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, then um, came back, had a coach of hockey tournament this weekend in Assiniboia and... If anyone has a chance to go to that rink, yeah, I did already. It's the best rink in the province so by sick. a mile. Hmm. Like yeah. every room is like a junior yes. hockey team room with stalls. Yep. They since we were hosting the tournament, like we had access to like this coaches lounge they call it. Just had a TV in there, so but between games we had like four hours between games just in there watching golf and yeah, and hockey sick. and everything like that. Hmm. Like it's unreal. It, and they got a golf simulator in there. They got. Really? They got like bouncy castles in there too. Yeah. A bouncy castle, rock climbing wall, a yeah. track to run around. They sell booze at the concession. Like, yeah. Wow. It, yeah. It's a rink to, to see if you get a chance. For sure. Um, for as for booze count, I had 10 over these past two weeks. Oh, wow. So I thought it was going to be zero. 162. No, I, well, here's the thing. We went to Matt Franco and my wife goes and orders this like electric lemonade, it's called. It was like a twenty-four dollar drink, oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's just straight. Like she thought it was gonna be like a Long Island iced tea type thing. It's just like they're just booze, booze, <laughs> booze, booze. Well, it's twenty-four bucks, <laughs> and uh, she takes like three sips. She's like, "I don't like this." So I'm like, "Well, I'm drinking it because <laughs> twenty-four dollar yeah. drink." And then once it hit your lips, <laughs> well, I already had a couple of beers before oh, that. Okay. With it. Those, those were thirteen bucks. So. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, ten on, ten on the last two weeks and one sixty two on the year. So all right, hmm. right on. Uh, so I was hoping. Did anyone watch this weekend? Uh, I did. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I watched. Uh, I think I watched. Uh, let's see, it was carry the four <laughs> thirty two yeah. hours of yeah. Masters coverage. Oh yeah. Past but you missed the plenty. day, right? What's that? Because that Saturday thing was a complete joke. Where they canceled the round after seven holes of the leaders. Yeah, well, I think they needed to do that to get the whole round in, which well, ended up being correct on Sunday. Yeah. What was the deal like? There I was mean, no was light. There was no lightning. They just couldn't no, keep, they up, was, with they could keep up with the water. Pouring rain. Yeah, they like, couldn't yeah. keep up with when the water. When Brooks and Scott or Brooks and Rom were walking off that seventh green, like it was underwater. Yes. Like like Was like Sioux. Yeah, like eighteen <laughs> at Waska Sioux that day when we were tr- supposed to golf there in the yeah. roadie. Yeah, like right. it Brooks, was, Brooks was 100% not making, like, attempting that putt. He was just standing there waiting for them to call it. Like, didn't care about holding anyone up. He's like, yeah. I'm not hitting this putt. Should have putted it in Rutgers. Should, Should have putted it, it then, yeah. But uh, I, they were, I think they, they had, like, a number in their mind of how many holes they needed to get in so that they could finish on Sunday. And my guess is it was six to eight. Yeah. And so they were making them push all the way through so that they only had to deal with, 12 holes on Sunday, and then they could send him back out. Well, well it, made, it worked out luckily perfectly. Luckily that uh, Cantley wasn't behind him the oh, whole yeah. time. It yeah. made it made for a great Sunday because you could get up at a decent hour or whatever, yeah. watch a few holes, and then you know do a couple things, come back and watch the rest of the tournament, yeah. right? It worked yeah. out really well. So, I think a lot of people were happy with that. Like, Yeah. You wake up. I was because I cause that's a, was busy that's Saturday anyway. So, yeah. It is one of the worst parts of – the masters in that you commit yourself to watching the entire thing. So you don't get to do anything because you'll watch some of the early groups, but then you have to wait until one o'clock for the leaders to tee yeah. off. And then it's one to six or one to seven. You're done yeah. where this one worked out 
awesome because you thought you were going to be pitting in, but you kind of knew in the back of your head that Saturday might have a little bit of time off, and then you got it. And then Sunday you got the morning rush, you didn't have to wait, and then two hours later it's right back into it. So yeah. I think I think a lot of viewers were happy. I mean, I was a little out. cheese because like after our first game Saturday, I'm like, here we go, we won, so I'm in a good mood. I'm just going to go watch golf for four hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it was canceled, but luckily they had two afternoon hockey games on, so that was yeah. that was okay. But and <laughs> at the same time, at any point you could have watched any shot you wanted on the app. Yeah, that's like within especially if you after, missed something. So. Yeah, yeah, you missed something. It's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta watch it. Yeah. Um, let's talk about John Rom, and then I want to change things up a little bit. I prepared a top five, and my top five has a lot of talking points in it, so I want to. So it's on a later in the show thing? No, it's going to be – it's a master's top five. I want to change it up just oh, a little wow. bit. Cool. But I want to talk about Rom first because he's not in it. Okay. Uh, so then we can kind of go from there. So let's talk about – let's talk about Rom, the Rom Brooks, like, toe to toe, yeah, if you yeah. want to call it that. Well, Battle for – Pillow fight, maybe in it the It was end. a pillow fight. Three yeah. holes, yeah. Yeah, so I think, I think early on, uh, you know, when Brooks was – up and you know three four shot lead it's like well brooks is a killer he won last week he's probably going to hold on to this thing but then there's that little piece of but if john rom gets a opening is he going to just kick the door down i don't think anyone saw brooks's sunday coming but uh, i did it, not well the last yeah, few no. majors he's been in he's actually choked quite a bit in on the last well, in the last round tiger 2019 the masters brooks yes. was t2 and since 2019, yeah. he's been terrible in final rounds at the, at majors. PGA Championship against Harding Park, he um, sucked. Yeah, against Phil. Harding, no, Harding Park was Park the more Cowell win. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah. he was. But bad against there. Phil, he was there. He didn't play well on Sunday. No. Fifty-four holes, right? That's Quite, all yeah. Well, that, yeah, I mean, that was obviously <laughs> that, not a thing, but yeah, for Brooks it was, and he just couldn't make a birdie. Mm. He, it was. He, it was crazy. He, he birdied eight on Saturday, and he then he went. If he went, tw- he, he birdied what, eight again. Twenty holes. Yep. Oh, yeah. He birdied he went eight 18 again. Eighteen holes that again. Was, yeah, eighteen holes. Right. Um, After he hit in the shit left. Yeah. 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 It was. It was very. Uh, the Brooks that you think that you know, it was very uncharacteristic. But like you said, it's lately it's been that, and then you wonder now. Obviously, he was in full swing last year. What his psyche is going to be like if, if he uh, has this whole killer attitude and stuff like that, but also seems like he's a little bit fragile. Well, now what does this do to it? Thinking you know maybe he's got three legs of the Grand Slam, and now all of a sudden it's gone. But I think that that this lends probably more to him getting that back than anything. Yeah. in my mind, right? I think I think mm. spin zones for sure that because he's talking like in the Netflix he had talked about Scheffler. How being unconscious and doing all this stuff. Well, fuck, he just beat the wheels off Scheffler for the most part on the week. The first three days, so. he was unstoppable. Like, he didn't he miss a shot. a shot. No. No. Yeah. no and and he was making putts. He was, you know, he was saving pars when he needed to. His putter was Well, blocked. his driver Sunday went came. on him right on those, yeah. Yeah. the back nine of the round three and all the round four. Like, well, he missed when that. he wins, yeah. he hits that thing on a rope. Yeah right where he wants yeah. and he was pulling them into the left trees yeah. all day yep. yeah. yeah he missed that that big one on four um he got a huge break on six that he didn't go down the hill from behind the green still made oh, bogey yeah. there um yeah he just he couldn't he couldn't do anything sunday and a lot of people are blaming cantley for it <laughs> yeah probably well, think with I, reason like that that was insane yeah what, he played really really slow i think just as much as it was brooks not capitalizing like Rom played really well on Sunday too to to kind of compound that for Brooks. It's yes. like Brooks yeah. is trying to get something going and just Rom is just racing. Not making ahead mistakes. Of yeah. yeah, he didn't yeah. make any errors. And well, then once he had that lead, when John Rom has a lead like that and he can play conservative, yeah, yeah nobody has a fucking chance. Oh, yeah, and that's like I didn't really agree with everyone saying there was no drama on Sunday, like for the fourth year in a row. They knew but like the way Rom played, like that's just as exciting watching him completely dismantle that place yeah. as if they were one one back or two back going into 16. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, uh, I think one of the fascinating things for me, looking at the, the tournament kind of back now, is how Brooks had that good side of the draw and played so well the first yes. day, 
was able to get his round in early on Friday. And John was the complete opposite. He got the shit end of the stick. Obviously, four putts his first hole. Doubles and the first then hole. Just goes on a tear from there. Yeah, well, you, did you guys see that stat that the last hole of last year's Masters was a four putt and the first hole for the winner this year? Yeah, was a that's four putt? interesting. Yeah. And then I, he hits it 90 yards on the last hole, too, <laughs> off the tee. But yeah, to to that point, um, I think it's it's interesting if if Rom has the same draw as Brooks, what does this look like? Yeah, right, because he might be sixteen. He might have been sixteen. So, right? um, yeah, very interesting. Um, but I do want. I think now is a good time to. to well, we got no, no, we got lots more to talk about Rom and Brooks here. Yeah, like, I mean, three point two five million. He's at thirteen point two million in the year already. And everybody's saying, well, oh, yeah, Rom's the best player in the world now. Well, I mean, a few weeks ago, everybody was saying, well, Scheffler's the best player in the world. So it's not. I've always been a. Like, they're a 1A Rom's and 1B scenario right now. Rom's the best right player now. in the world, even when Scheffler was number one for this last little bit. Um, yeah. Well, Scheffler could not putt could, whatsoever yeah, this Scheffler, week. <laughs> Scheffler that was the worst putting display I've ever seen by anybody. He had but, a little glimpse Sunday, too, where he had made yeah, a couple putts and he got the six. What did he double? What hole did he double? I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think too. But I but ten? I do agree nine with or Harv. Ten? No, he birdied nine. I can't think. Might of, have been ten or eleven. Yeah, Doubles. I can't think of Sheff- yeah. Scheffler's double. <clears throat> but uh, to Harv's point, twelve. Oh, it's twelve. Yeah, yeah, he went deep he didn't on twelve. Know, yeah. Oh he yeah. The bushes, the um, bananas. That's right. <laughs> um, to Harv's point, I think just the way that Rom plays is like when he's if they were both at their absolute best, Rom's better than Scheffler. And, and I think le- he just looks the part better, right? Just because of Scotty's feet, it always looks like it's one, yeah, one extra miss it away, slide <laughs> yeah. away from yeah. being completely off the earth, yeah. right? But Rom's and a Rom. little untraditional as well, right? Like, yeah, but you his feel like he doesn't groove with that foot more. thing. Like he drops but that thing low and just it could also yeah. he had that cut go on Sunday and it was just like this yeah. is automatic. Yeah, and yeah. you could say too that Rom kind of didn't putt well at times. No, Scotty didn't putt well. Rom didn't putt well. And he, he still won. He was it. missing everything well, left. Rom was yeah. middle of the pack for the week when I had yeah. looked at the stats. Putting? Yeah. I think it all comes down to what we just talked about. He was on the wrong side of the draw and still won by four. Yeah. Pars are good there. Like, that's Everyone knows. just I mean, wild. probably one of the biggest takeaways is that Brooks Kepp is back to top 50 in the world with this second place. Yep. Yeah, so how, how high did he jump? I think he's like 37th or something like that. He jumped... I didn't write it down, like, 85 spots. Phil jumped, like, like, 300 spots. Yeah, we'll get to Phil. We'll, we'll, get, to we'll get to Phil. Yeah. Inside the top 100. For you want to do your top stack. five before we get to Phil? No, yeah, you stole, you've stole just one wait. of my top five already, wow. so that's why I can't risk this. Uh, I had read a piece on Rom. You had talked about his driver being nails all week for the most part. Uh, he had put a new driver in just after, what was it, just before Genesis. So something that they had tweaked something so he could bring his spin down a little bit. So... He's been kind of tweaking that paradigm ever since uh, mm. the beginning of the year. So, okay. did you guys see that that reporter ask him about him being a favorite at the start of the week, and he corrected him and said, "No, I'm actually the third favorite." Like, I wonder he if knew. I he wonder knew. if he uses that as like, you know, yeah, motivation. motivation. Yeah, motivation. That's the word I'm looking yeah. for. Sorry, yeah. I've had a few pints we're, tonight. Yeah, boys. we're just <laughs> waiting to see if he was coming up with a different. <laughs> yeah. name. I thought, yeah. That's yeah. What I thought. Where's he, where's he going with that? Momentum, <laughs> w- momentum was in my brain for some reason. And I was like, yeah, that's not right. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the other thing I just wanted to mention is that I think I said it on the show, I placed uh, futures on him as soon as he won the Genesis. And it was he was obviously the betting favorite, but Bet365 had a boost on him. I'm like, well, this doesn't make a lick mm-hmm. of sense. So yeah. I bet it. And won, but also cashed out half of it before it was over. So. Well, let's talk about the Sevy stuff too before we nope, get to top. No, it's in oh, top five. But okay. yeah. We got to <laughs> talk about the biggest Brooks news of the week is how he was cheating and showing up five fingers and the, <laughs> the caddies were yelling out clubs. Brandel's and all this. going Brandel's bananas. Brandel's going hot and mean on it. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> and like it's that that happens, I guarantee, 50 times every round in these tournaments. Like, yes. In regular tournaments? Absolutely. In regular yeah. uh, tournaments. They had, when I was watching um, whatever the Golf Channel program is live from in the evening, McGinley kept saying, yeah, caddies do this stuff all the time. They'll have their towel over their bag. The other caddy comes and looks. And they'll move their towel and let them look so they can see what club that their player is hitting. It's like, what's the fucking difference? 
It's well, I don't shit. understand how it helps them. Yeah. You still have to hit your They have their stock against. yardages. They have everything figured out already. What's how, it matter like, what Brooks hit? What gets, years yeah. ago where they weren't tracking this stuff as much that it would be a big deal. But like yeah. you said, they have their yardages. They basically have the yards they're hitting down to the millimeter. Yeah. And yeah. it's like they know what they got to hit. And Woodland came out and said, I didn't, we didn't know. We asked, he asked Brooks in the fairway or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, and he's, if he would have known, because he still ended up hitting the wrong club, I yeah. think. Well, so he, he went said if deep. he would have known, he would have hit six because he's farther than Brooks. Yeah. And he would have been in the water. So. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Top five. Uh, this top five is, it's got some, I got some bones to pick. Let's, let's call it. <laughs> but it's the top five. I couldn't five find five of each. I wanted to talk about all of them. So it's the top five overrated slash underrated things about the Masters. You'll it'll make sense. Oh, okay. Num- <laughs> number five, <laughs> overrated. Butler cabin interviews and anything between the final putt and the on green presentation. I can't stand sitting there waiting for them to do that ridiculous interview in Butler cabin. Where they low to amateur. Talk, low amateur. The champion, they get the green jacket there. It's the most awkward, brutal interview ever. And then they still give him the uh, green jacket on the green afterwards. And then he still has to say this half the same shit he just said on TV. Mm. And, and then I realize they do it for TV and to set up the shit afterwards. Yeah. But it's still, it is. I, and it's, it, I, there's I never it. not been an awkward exchange in that yeah. first jacket putting yeah. on of him like it's someone so always catches an arm or yeah rom can get that right arm in <laughs> yeah they someone always catches an arm or they make a dumb comment like oh it fits so good or something like they say something <laughs> and stupid it's so quiet and in it's there. so quiet <laughs> yeah. and no one wants to laugh or any like no well, then bennett to... left like right before <laughs> yeah. the yeah, jacket like ceremony i think I'm, I'm fully on board with that being overrated <laughs> yeah. absolutely but i get okay. what you're saying they need to set up the the green for the presentation but okay yeah. all right number four also overrated the menu I'm tired of this. That pimento sandwich looks oh, yeah. gross. Egg salads, oh, disgusting. Yeah, you brought this up. The prices, the price thing that they have to post every year. Yeah, they're keeping the prices low. Yeah, because it's the most expensive place in the world. They can afford to make sandwiches a buck fifty and beers four and bucks. And nothing <laughs> pisses me off more than the thirty thousand tweets and Instagram posts that you see. It's like. You only got ten bucks. What are you buying at Augusta? <laughs> Who cares? Everybody's yeah, getting three beers. <laughs> it's it's the, the automatic it's answer. It's the same thing. Yeah, every <laughs> year three they should eat some grass. <laughs> every, yeah. Like people should just save their tweets and drafts and be like, okay, I'm saving this for the next time this comes up because it's going to be two pimentos and a beer and one of those peach ice cream yeah. sandwiches. Like, is this well, a good time to bring up Bob Weeks and his record-setting? 13, 13 egg salad sandwiches. Yeah, how many? 30, eight, 13 on the grounds, but he probably had 52 in his pockets. The rest <laughs> <of the day. laughs> he, ate, he ate 32. He ate 32 that he went and got himself, not to mention all the ones he stole from other people waiting. Uh, yeah, that's just the stuff he paid for. What did he do from the media tent, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like a good egg salad, but there's nothing grosser than a pocket egg salad. That's yeah. disgusting. I wouldn't put it past him. I just They're sat on it. Oh, man, he sat on disgusting. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm Fucking just. I'm Bob. done. I'm done with the menu <laughs> stuff. I really am. Uh, number three is underrated. Uh, back nine drama. I can't. Harv kind of mentioned it. He kind of stole it. I can't stress enough how yes, it. You can say that uh, this type of back nine was good because Rom played so well, but I desperately think that the masters needs to have some sort of back nine drama like i feel it's very underrated in that we've forgotten all about it like oh there's been years where there's been like four or five guys tied yes on like 14 like we need that back yeah Yeah. as sure it's great to see even the tiger year was was like yeah we had those guys everywhere we had it on the front nine this year but like we need to see again 15 16 like we need to see the tournament come down to those holes. Yeah. Like everyone, we're just not getting. Everyone it. was happy that Phil and Spieth were making their moves. Well, whatever, but yeah. they that's, weren't really. Can you imagine? It didn't really matter. Yeah, like, can you imagine thing, if like, there w- yeah. Rom wasn't up three and that was happening? Like, that's what we want to see. Yeah, it's not good when the the most memorable drama part of this year was the two guys that finished T two and T three. Yeah, like <laughs> who finished four groups ahead of the leaders. Like that's not the but drama the, we need. The script was in. If it was all PGA Tour guys, 
it would have been tight till the end. But the fact that they had two live guys in there, <laughs> oh, yeah, Monahan here we go, yeah. pulled some <laughs> strings and was like, no, Rom's going to run away with this. We're not made, I, we're not uh, telling him at the turn to tone it down like they do in a lot of tournaments. I will, well, I will say for a fact that I was waiting for you to comment. I didn't want to ruin your comment, but I thought of it many times about how much money did Monahan pay Brooks to throw this. I, I bet and you it's did. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no. he, Brooks he is just sure a loser. Did. That's just all it is. He's well, a loser. They, he, he clearly likes money. He took the hundred million. Yeah. So the, like, how much anything, would it to just be like, hey, I'll take it one, maybe one step back and say he was paid to miss that putt on seven coming back Sunday morning, just to like. Mm. Well, if he's it paid to miss bit. that, then he's paid to lose it all. Doesn't matter. Like, nah, just to tighten it up. No. He probably agrees agrees to that, that it was over. Yeah, he probably agrees to that. He makes that putt. Brooks Kepka wins that tournament. Uh, but I mean, right. it was a bad chip, too, to begin with. All right, number yeah. two, underrated, the par fives. People love to talk about how hard 5, 11, 12, all the drama that comes along with those hard holes. Nothing gets me going than knowing guys stepping onto any one of those par fives and just being like, there could be an eagle here, almost a guaranteed birdie, and then the like let down if a guy pars one of those. I feel like those are the four holes well, guys are bogeying and doubling those holes too yeah but they're the ones that turn tournaments yeah you said like, this is underrated underrated I, the I don't only think bogey brooks give... made in the first three days was bogeying 13 I, that whole that whole played way better than everyone talked talked about yeah and it just, was actually played easier this year it was good i think that yeah i think people especially the announcers they put so much emphasis on the hard holes that I feel like they kind of dog the par fives a little bit because well, especially the two on the front, right? Like those are considered gimme holes. Like yeah. you, well, eight's you have a, to bury eight's them. a tough second shot, though. Right, but that's yeah, the but thing. They hit it to the kick I, it off the left hill. Like yeah. it's a very well designed golf, like yeah, it's perfect and, designed golf course. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, and that's why yeah. I say they're underrated is because they kind of write them off as birdie or easy holes. But if you don't score on those holes. Yeah, you're giving one back to field. Which a lot they, of guys they didn't. Tend, yeah. They the tend to attach to oh five. There's only been like four birdies here all day. Five so hard of a hole. Twelve stay out of the water. Eleven the hardest hole in the course. Like they just like attach to that and not yeah. emphasize when guys par eight or par fifth. Like paring thirteen and fifteen is yeah. almost a death sentence to for this tournament. Well, I, you say, I hate hole eleven. It's my most hated hole in that hole. Well, eight, like hole eight, hole eight really? on Sunday. Yeah. The, not for like if I was playing it, I would find it as a difficult yeah. hole, but I also wouldn't be just hitting out to the right and trying to chip yeah. it. Yeah, like I'd be well, going after that pin yeah. wherever it was. I like Cole. 11. You said earlier that Brooks par- birdied eight on Sunday. He didn't birdie eight. He parred no. eight. Yes. yes. So I think that was a big swing on yes. Sunday. Was yeah. Rom easy bird? You know, hit it on and just in, just in front, chipped it up to a few feet. Yeah, to Brooks make an goes easy in birdie. the trees. Brooks yeah. goes in the trees, makes par. Like that was a huge swing. Anytime yeah. you're yeah. watching those, like two and eight, especially at the start of the round, like when Brooks hits that into the trees, you immediately get like excited. It's like, holy shit, we're probably getting one shot closer here because yeah. he's not yeah. gonna maybe two. Yeah, yeah. It's just like that's the type of stuff where yeah. on eleven, if you hit it right or left, okay, punch up, maybe make par. But the other chances are the other guys also making par, so it's not like a big swing like it is to not make birdie on a par yeah. five. I feel like it's yeah. not what, what talked the about best. Enough. This might be underrated too, but like when they hit in the trees, like every other course on the PJ Tour, they hit in the trees and it doesn't even matter. Yeah, like they're all spaced out. They all. Well, this one's pretty around. spaced out too. Yeah, but because of on the, the wrong un- hole, <laughs> because of the undulations of this place, like you can't just go up there and try and hit the yeah. green, and if you miss it, you're just getting up and down. Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's yeah. the underrated part, I think. That yeah, that, that ha- comes into yeah. play. Well, nice. they because both of them had parred two on Sunday. Yes. for the yep. fourth round. Right, and that brought everybody that much closer because everybody in front of them all pretty much made birdie. Yeah, because right? I, I feel like there's those bogeys that are out there and people are going to bogey, but it's those par fives they don't talk about yeah. enough. Uh, which gets me to number one. Back to the overrated side. Anything Seve related. Wow, I am, number one? I am over it. I am What do you over mean? It. Like, what are you I talking about? This <laughs> makes no sense to me, but okay, explain. So, I understand... <laughs> I understand that Seve is a god to lots of people. Yep. Especially Spaniards, for sure. Oh, definitely Spaniards. And John Rom won. Sure. 
on Sunday, you can shove Seve down our throats. I don't care. But I don't need to hear about Seve and how cool he is and all this stuff on Thursday every time Sergio's on the screen, every time Rom's on the screen. I'm tired. Uh, like, it is nonstop with the Seve <laughs> shit. Like, I just... I, You're not I'm, wrong. I'm tired of it. Like, I get it. He, he obviously said it in his victory speech. Good. Yep. Good for that. And he's a hero. But I don't care about it on Thursday and Friday. Like, okay. And that's the, my <laughs> you see, thing. You, with seem one, you seem to care about it a lot on Sunday, though. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I just I'm saw tired. Straw that broke the camel's <laughs> back, for sure. But also, <laughs> yes, sure, he's won, he's won a ton of times. He won the Masters twice. I mean, like a Spaniard won on his birthday. They're going to talk about it. For sure. It's, it's my, very my, cool. It's, his birthday, it wasn't all weekend. It's not a birthday weekend uh, thing. My biggest thing about Seve <laughs> is, like, yes, unbelievable one of the best, like he won the Masters twice. Guy. By the way, just twice, just twice, just but twice, just twice. They, they make it sound, <laughs> they make it seem like his career just. was cut short, and he died like he died in some like Payne Stewart like thing mm. where he he missed his career. He played his whole career. Yeah, he died when he was fifty four. Yeah, he was done playing. He wasn't winning another major. He was not winning another major. Like I know, but we don't know that. We do know that. <laughs> yeah. And yes, well, that's he's, a good tangent in the film because he could win <laughs> another a, major. He's a wizard. Yes. Uh, so number one, overrated. I just I can't I can't I, do it anymore. I can't believe that's number one. Yeah, I, I, that's number one. Mainly wow. because I didn't even recognize the fact that they were talking about it. That you didn't much. watch no, enough they on didn't, Thursday. No, they, oh well, they didn't talk about. I it think that it was much. even a, it was an ongoing joke. I think on Twitter too of how how long Ian Baker Finch can go without mentioning Sevi. <laughs> <laughs> like I think it was. How long can they go without mentioning Tiger? So that so that was actually thank you for you reminding me. There? Go no, yeah, no, no. Let me go there first because that was one of my points that I forgot to write down on there that kind of made me think of it. If they're gonna do this with Tiger, oh, like, they're going to ten are, years if from now. Gonna, if they're going, they're going to, they already are. Yeah, they did it this year. At least he's yeah. there. At least he's on the screen, so they can they can do it <laughs> while he's playing. Hey, Sevy would probably be there too, but he's dead. So yeah. I think that's kind of my point. <laughs> He's not uh, there. <laughs> let sleeping dogs lie. Um, we going uh, Phil first? Yeah, yeah, got to go, yeah, go, go, go Phil first. Tangent into Phil. He was plus 1,400 to finish in the top 10 this week. That's still like, this is just so, insane to me. You said that. So when you said he that, been I started like thinking. Plus 3,500 to finish the top 10. I started thinking about <laughs> your should, best bet terrible from last for week. two years. Yeah. What was my best bet? Your best bet that you had brought up was uh, Scheffler- best uh returning champion right what would his of odds uh his odds have been in that yeah. scenario oh phil yes. unbelievable like insane more than 14 right yes yeah i would think because you have to beat scheffler matsuyama speed speed <laughs> tiger yeah <laughs> dj he's got to beat a lot of guys he yeah. is going to have the best the what fourth best he's got three green jackets three yes He'll have his fourth best champions dinner next next year. Phil will. Because he, oh, yeah. other than the three champions dinner, yeah. this will be the one where he will just sit there and be like, yeah, it was T2 last year. It's After un- the past gonna, year yep. where they he's say gonna, he didn't say anything. Like, this is arguably yeah. more incredible than his win, his PGA Championship win. It's very close. It's I, close. So I don't think so. It's the same course. If it... Right, because yeah, that's a place that he's point. already he's been won at. He's completely he knows. dog shit for the last two years. But though. you know what? We've seen lots of people do that. Freddie yeah. Couples made the cut this year, right? Yeah, he, always yeah. the cut. Cut. <laughs> he always <laughs> makes the cut. He always makes the cut. Yeah, this is T two man. I know, no, but, but I, still, I can it's get the behind same golf the same course, course right? a little bit. A it's not going to some random long golf course, right? No, but it's a place that everybody talks about. You need to come here and play this. You need to learn how to play here. Blah blah blah. Yep. Right. Well, yep. that's exactly what he's able to do. A lot of guys are able to do it. I just, yep. I couldn't believe the run he made and the fact that nobody was really like nobody really knew what to do. The fans didn't know whether to cheer or not. Yeah, and that they, was the weird part. Want Could to, you yeah. imagine if this was three years ago and Phil was doing this? Oh my God! The world would be unbearable today. The t- <laughs> yes. Twitter would have been You're right unbelievable yeah. on Sunday. It, it would have been just, unbearable. Oh. Uh, yes, it already was. I think the only thing I can say to like downplay a little bit of what he did was where he did it from. Like he had no, there was n- had never a doubt that he was going to win that tournament. It was just he had a really hot he was the final round. Leader, and he, man. he had a really yep, yeah. 
Yeah, five groups ahead. Yeah, but but only two guys ahead time. of him or one. No, but what I'm saying is the other guys that could he could have easily finished T six, T seven, but all the guys ahead of him just fizzled out. Whether because they were also down four shots and couldn't catch Rom, I'm just saying. There's lots of times where these guys make these crazy Sunday back nine moves yeah. and just happen to end up Speed in T3, the same T5. Thing. Rory right. last year. Yeah, yeah, Rory last year. Oh, so, my God, yeah. look at Rory. He got yeah, second. So, but that's what I'm saying. You always have to take a shot at Rory. Why no, do you always I, have to take a shot at Rory? Because that was in my the front of my mind. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. what I'm saying is, <laughs> yes, it's, it's incredible what he did when you look at it now, but at the time... But he's it's, 52. It's he's, like... He shot 65 when no one else... True. Broke sixty nine. Rom was sixty nine. Yeah, yeah. Right there weren't many. There was another sixty eight like or something. I yeah. might have had round of the day. Well, no, he not round of the day. Sixty seven. Maybe there's a little bit but, of a letdown from some of the guys in those final groups that know that they can't catch him. Whereas Phil had all he was playing for is just exactly what he got out of it, and that's yeah. an unbelievable round to finish T two. And I think all of us, myself, and a bunch of others that used to like Phil and now hate him or now don't like him as much, kind of cheered for him a little he bit. He brought you week. back a little bit. Just because it's oh, Augusta. You we, felt it move on Sunday. We all <laughs> felt it move a little bit. It was just like, <laughs> hey, remember where you were in 04 when he, <laughs> when he broke through or whatever? But, like, I I, I will admit it that I – I wasn't yeah. disappointed that he finished T2. And I mean, like, he jumped 350 yeah. spots in the yeah. world rankings to be back inside top 100. It's kind of like yeah. that. You'll never the forget your again. first love. Yeah. yeah. You'll never forget it. <laughs> no. Like if your f- first love comes to a even a bad, friend's Even wedding. with a bad breakup, you're yeah. still going to remember that first love. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. You see each other at a wedding and you're just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. that was I mean, nice. I remember felt those it, days. You felt it move. That's all you had to say. <laughs> uh, uh, what else we got? Where do we want to go next? Do you want to talk about Tiger? Let's well, talk let's go. about Tiger. Oh, okay. I was going to say what Can- a perfect Cantley Cantley next, but, but we already talked about him a little bit. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about Cantley personally, but everybody hates him. Well, everybody. That's all there is the to qu- say. The only thing I want to bring is that quote from Brooks saying that Rom went to the shitter seven, <laughs> seven times, times and we were still waiting. On I him. honestly think that that might have cost Brooks Kepka the title. Oh, he the was green jacket. fuming mad. Like Hovland I- was going up and playing his shots. Yeah, like way ahead. ahead. On 13, he went up and played. He chipped when Cantlay was like way back in the fairway. <laughs> really? That's the you best. didn't see that? Rory I was Sabatini driving. style. Sunday. But yeah. 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 He, That's uh, awesome. Geez. I didn't know that. Well, there's that, and, and it didn't help, too, that the group uh, the group ahead of that, or two groups ahead, was uh, Sam Bennett. Oh, yeah. And that guy, that guy doesn't play Who very fast. Who was slower? Bennett might be. I think Bennett's really? slower. I think Bennett. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. Anytime They're there's a slow. new guy, there's a new guy that you've never seen before, and you notice how slow he is. I think he's got to be slow, because like there were in the, yeah. when he was in that final group on Saturday, it was noticeable. Especially I think his tee shot on 14, where they had the side angle, and it was like, holy shit! How many gathers is this guy gonna have? Yeah. Like the yeah. thing, the thing. I didn't write anything down about Bennett. Uh, oh, I guess I did, but. Uh, <laughs> The thing I want to see is the yes, evolution. Like, that guy's swing is going to change. Like, he's obviously going to be on the PGA Tour. Like, he's more the sideways evolution than of, uh, Yeah. Like, you yeah. cannot be that, like, be a consistent PGA Tour player yeah. trying to compress the ball that hard. Like, he's hitting so hard down on yeah, it. Yeah, he is. Like, even with woods and stuff that, like, yeah. that's just not – you're going to – Yeah, that side bend is – something yeah, his story nice with those two is amazing and i was really cheering for him it's just a shame that that slowness is kind of tainting it but yeah <laughs> yeah he, i mean tell me again jinxes aren't real about that guy the whole world jinxed them Knoop did <laughs> like, and the uh, entire world was yeah. saying like whoa this amateur is gonna win this thing like oh my god <laughs> no one thought he was ever gonna win <laughs> yeah, it got no said a pile <laughs> of did. times <laughs> he did the bright i mean the bright lights has got to him playing yeah, the final yeah. group but yeah yeah that's fair it's gonna happen but he did. I mean, he did shoot bogey free first round for the first time yeah. in what, sixty years? Yeah, second round. Ooh, I don't I know what it was. That second first round, round was impressive. Um, yeah. What's uh? What was next on your list? Tiger. We got Tiger. We oh got yeah, Spieth. Tiger. We got a bunch of guys still. Yeah. Let's talk about Tiger. Uh, yeah, let's talk about him. I think it was the perfect, literal perfect storm for Tiger. It was the case of he he gets hurt. 
or he is hurt, but he makes the cut. And then it get the conditions get so bad that he's able to just withdraw <laughs> because he's like, okay, well, I can't really win. He's a coward. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but it did. It was a little bit suspect that that limp got like ten times worse in three holes when he had to go play in the rain and yeah. he was three over, or four well, over. Well, he hits that ball in the water on sixteen. Like that was the worst. Might have been the worst swing I've ever seen Tiger Woods make in his entire life. And he just like pins tucked back right, and he's fifteen yards short, left in the water. Oh really? I didn't even oh, see it that was, shot. Yeah. It was terrible. It was and right bad. at that hmm. point. I think I posted the group like I think he's going to withdraw. Yeah. Hmm. Well, and then I you... probably said with more of a jab <laughs> in it. <laughs> yeah. <but> well, that, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean that video. That video comes out of him, uh, obviously with the most over the top limp I think he's ever had. On fifteen. And just like, yeah. nah, well. If this is the last image you have of his Masters this year, yeah, for sure he's going to withdraw. And then, I don't know if you guys believe it or not, but do you see that Jason Day thing that came I out today? I don't believe that for a second. Why wouldn't you believe it? Why would he lie about that? Well, I, I think it. I think he maybe said it was like, I think it screws out. Like, did he it look pierced at, his skin. It came pierced out. his skin. That's what he said. That's take what, off why would Jason Day Jason lie Day? about that? Well, did he show him or did he just say, hey, I think the screw maybe pierced my skin? <laughs> I mean, I, I I believe Jason Day over anything my wife says or any, anything anybody says. <laughs> Jason Day, why would Jason Day lie? I don't. I'm not saying he lied. I think he just got maybe fed misinformation. Yeah, bad information, yeah. yeah. Could yeah be. Maybe, but could be. <laughs> Jason but, Day, like. But the question is, like, is Tiger really oh, going to be this the, guy? I think the. The screw piece of skin. <laughs> yeah. If that you say exactly. an accent, he wants yeah. you to do whatever you yeah, want. Exactly. Whatever he wanted you to do, eh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, it's like Russell Brand. That guy can... I'll listen to anything that guy says. <laughs> I thought you still? <laughs> yeah, still. Have you been listening to anything of late? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty smart. He is pretty smart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess it depends on some fancy fall on. Um, <laughs> but my question is, like, is Tiger really going to be this guy that just hangs around, like... Hanging around, hangs around too long, yeah. and it's just this yeah. every time he. Well, plays. he's on the champions in two years. Well, they're he's not playing the champions. No, yes, he, he is. said he is. There's yeah. a lot of he's going to cart around that shit. Yeah, twice, there's a lot maybe. of talk about him now. Going to go prove a point by riding in a cart in the champions tour and just breaking every record. Maybe, but, but why maybe. not? But if that's going to be the case, why doesn't he ride around on the PGA tour and do it? Can't. Yes, he can. He, he can, can get an yeah. exemption. He doesn't. He was so adamant against it for. The, 20 years. I know, but you just said he can't. He can. He literally he can. can't. He can't in his head. He can't. Yeah. And that was the other thing. Was Tiger do better? Like, what were, people are saying, like, does he win another Masters if they give him a cart? Like, I don't think the, I don't think he does. Not with the matters. talent. No. But Phil just finished T2, so anything's possible. Maybe. But, we like, just, yeah, we just so, so you thing. guys are saying he is going to be the guy that just hangs around and, and plays the, all these tournaments he and is. ends up withdrawing yeah. all the time? Uh, like, yes. how's yeah. that good for your legacy? I do. I, it's a great question. I don't know. It isn't. It's just a, sh- it's but a he, shame. But but I think at this point, it's just answer. it's, it's a a straight shame. majors. I don't think he's going to play in the other stuff anymore. Okay. He's not. So how, like he playing how in Genesis. long before he's no. hitting the honorary tee shot then? Because <laughs> like, it should be next year. He clearly can't. <laughs> next year. He clearly can't play anymore if he can't have a card. He made the cut. <laughs> well, then he, then he finished. All I want to know, the, the yeah. biggest <laughs> question for me is, <laughs> can, can that injury get better? That's all I, I want to know. know. You'd think it could, like, but I apparently think screws are popping out. So they well, do a bad yeah, job like, then, or fucking figure it out, you guys. Like, <laughs> I don't get it either. Yeah, like, like it's been it's been how long now? Yeah, since well, that that's happened. my thing. Is he pushing it to try to get back? Like he's not. Maybe he's thinking if I take a year and a half or two years off and then come back, it won't. I won't be the same dude because you aren't the same dude right no. now. So just. But, do that instead. He had withdrawn this week because of his foot, right? His plantar fasciitis, which was what flared up yeah. at Genesis. Yeah, this wasn't... Was like, right? which, it wasn't but his... But it's probably whatever. caused because Knee of the broken yeah. leg and how he has to walk. Yeah. So it's probably a thing for the rest of his life until he can get a cart on the Champions Tour. I don't know. Hit the honorary tee shot with Jack next year and <laughs> move on. Hey, as an uh, injured guy okay. myself, I have to sympathize with I've them. noticed. It's, I've it's noticed. a thing, so... Hmm. Just like Rory this week. You're rocking the brace again? <laughs> I, w- I wear got, it all the time now. I'm surprised he didn't pull a sleeve over <laughs> top of that. You wear it over top of the shirt? I wear it everywhere. All over your Over, jacket. under, everything. <laughs> In the shower, everywhere. I, when you go to bed? No. 
and it hurts in the morning. Yeah, arguably the one time you should wear it is in bed. Probably should. You Eight hours. You've probably been to the doctor, though, right? No. Where do you think, <laughs> Hell no. Where do you think you got that from? <laughs> oh, wait, self-diagnosis. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. <laughs> yep, 20 bucks. <laughs> uh, all right, oh. what else you got? Uh, Spieth, he was also T2. Uh, blames the T2 on playing too much golf leading up to this tournament. Yeah, very interesting blame. Did you hear sure. what he said about his tar- – he only was – making targets on 50% of his shots in the first three days. Like hitting his target or actually like deciding on a target? Deciding on a target. Freewheeling. I love it. Like he's just... Just showing... Up, like, yeah, over there somewhere. He's just a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the... But it's that awesome. Ja- that Jack Barlett guy do the impression of him? No. Really good. Oh, it was bang on. <laughs> you didn't yeah. see it? I no. posted in the group. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's it in was there. super good. Oh, I yeah, did not see that like, post. What do you think, Mikey? <laughs> like he's doing the voice and everything yeah. too. Uh, I did, the, I did really see good. the the face of Michael Greller and the caption was, if you have to listen to Jordan talk in the third person for 20 years or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, he had the most birdies this week. That sounds, yeah, that's I would have bet on that if he asked. Yeah. That is very impressive. Um, uh, yeah, who else here? Um, Hovland obviously started out strong. On uh, He'd never broken 70 there, right, until the yep. first round this week and he might never do it again because he didn't break seven <laughs> for the next three so so who knows what happens with that guy but that thursday round was very impressive though oh it was for sure mm-hmm. um who there's so many on this list so many oh yeah well there's just the like quick who? ones how about uh well we talk about will z withdrawing right before the tournament started for him and then bad surgery is out for the year. So, I mean, that's yeah. a quick one. I was going to say, how, how bad of a way do you have to be in to go through all the motions and then withdraw the morning of? Like, did he, did he just – he really wanted to play so badly that he just had to give it a shot. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Because that seems hmm. very odd to me that he went to that extent before uh, funniest, calling her a day. Funniest part about that Will Z one was Canute, like – ridiculing me for taking him in one of my golf pools he After took the tiger w- he was <laughs> he ridiculed me for taking him because he's been hurt all year he took tiger woods on the pod <laughs> pod picks you you dared me to you essentially <laughs> dared me to so i had to. I, I, I will say he dared did, you no dared, one, you did dare him oh, okay. he was dared yeah. yep he was dared and he <laughs> fell for it i mean good for you um we haven't talked about touched on this yet but we probably should um the masters app we kind of talked about how you can. I mean, it's nothing the be- beats it. Like it, I'm not it deleting best, it this year. Is it the? Be- I already deleted. It. Is no. it the best <laughs> app in the world? It is. Like it is for, yeah. it for is. general like Does use it, and functionality to, yeah. to what it's supposed to do. It is the best app in the per world. Per capita, best. Per capita, just like you only use it for four days of the of the year. <laughs> so it's yeah. like, <laughs> is that is that how? Like per capita, like days per capita, <laughs> yeah. days whatever, per, however days you want to interpret capita, that, it's, yeah. it's the best. Days <laughs> instead of people, it's days per capita. Yeah, that, I'll give you that. Yep. Okay. Um, and then they they had AI announcers, right? Oh yeah. Like every time you watch those shots, like, I didn't listen. To any oh, of I think it's you didn't listen to any of them. No. It best was, app it was per good. useful life. The most used per useful life, I think, is what you're looking for. Because useful life Use? of it is only four days. It's used yeah. the most in four, like it's the most efficient for those mm. four days. Yeah, thought so, we'd moved on, but no. Per capita is kind of right, but well, when you say something stupid, wrong, I'm try to figure out okay. what it, what how. It but works. I wanted to bring up the AI stuff because like, the human race is fucked. Like <laughs> this oh, AI yeah, thing robots is ridiculous. Are over. Like I saw this thing I'm telling where you. this AI was trying to like log into a website and it did to like prove you're not a robot thing. So it like just answered the question normally. No, it went on to one of those like what are that's like the go for th- like Task Rabbit and asked someone, "Can you fill this out for me?" And that <laughs> no person way. went and did it. So this AI thing got into the website. Wow! Like just we're wait. we're on borrowed time here, people. Yeah, really. And like, that's what I'm saying. Wait until they put AI in that fucking Boston that robot that does your, flips. Yes. Yeah, we're screwed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then you know what's gonna happen is someone's going to weaponize it and they're going to send robots to fight wars and then we're toast. Okay, yeah, we I, don't need to go down I'm this I'm saying road. right now, I'm, I'll bow down to those AI overlords right now, so just spare me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's coming down the pipe here, guys. So I'll be living in a bunker. Get your happens. affairs in order. And, yeah, get uh, your affairs in order. It was a nice run for the human race. 
uh, let's uh, move on from that. That tree, that, that, <laughs> yeah, tree, that tree fell down too. So oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that 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 too. speaking <laughs> of getting your affairs in order, uh, that dude who was in between the two tree trunks yeah. needs to uh, buy himself a lottery ticket. Someone said he should have took one for the team and got his family free tickets for the Masters for life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just wear that one. Well, and you'd probably get a, a cool two mil. <laughs> You're always getting yeah. that two mil, no matter what. That's yeah. the quote. <laughs> yeah. um, Can you like, if if he died, the tournament's canceled, right? No. No. You don't think so? At that oh, place, no way. I think it's canceled. They brush him off the course <laughs> <for> the, <laughs> with a broom. Squeegee him, squeegee him off with the rest of the water. Oh, oh, Hope it just washes away. Absolutely, they would. Oh, oh. I mean. Probably not the only skeletons in that place closet. Uh, Oh, um, man. They 100% cancel that tournament if he dies. I think you're right. Or is it it a classic over or under 1.5 people dead for a cancellation? (laughs) It's like in the fine print. Classic. I mean, they canceled the players for COVID, so who knows? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, but that killed um, millions. Are did you guys you know. see that million? <laughs> did you guys see that tweet from the Live Golf Tracker that said, "Who let Tiger drive a car around Augusta?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's one of their best ones ever. Oh, was I laughing at that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's move on. Scott Stallings had a decent week at twenty six, but uh, do you guys see him frame that? Uh, invitation mishap thing and he gave it to the other scott stallings uh, and kind of a touching moment if mm-hmm. you're into that sort of thing yep so um oh almost done here Bruno, you'll be happy uh Har- harold barno the third was 29th do you guys see him calling out the live guys yeah because that was that was wild good for being a will that was a guy. good article yeah. yeah like these guys are just basically lying to everyone saying they didn't do it for the money i guess the well he was saying that, that. Yeah. everybody was saying that it was they were trying to grow the game. Well, when they weren't. Yeah, like yeah. just say um, you, you did it for the money. But it's the on. same thing. Like we call personally, I've called out the PGA Tour for saying this elevated events and bigger purses isn't to just keep people. I guess same thing over here. Just say say what you're doing it for, and no yeah. one would care. Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, when I was reading the story, first off, it was terribly long, um, but. It almost felt like no way that he was actually saying the stuff in the way he was saying. It just seemed like way too far fetched, just the way the article was written. And then, yeah, it's just very confu- confusing article. But the Cliff's notes are definitely that he well, just was the biggest real about it. Point I thought was like these guys, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If you make this choice, you got to live with the consequences. Yeah. And like, yeah, yeah, just own up to it. Yeah, I went for the money, and I guess I'll play golf for. 250 million of them. That's the Johnson, like big whoop. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Are we going to talk about kind of the live aspect of the tournament? Because lots of people are saying, wow, this was a great event for the live. And Oh, yeah. We should talk well, about How many guys they had? 16 guys? They should be eight, 17, I think. Well, and, a and 12 the, or 11 made the cut? Yeah, 12. And I was 12 yeah. of 18 is what Three of the top six, right? So yeah. people I mean, are it, saying, it well, was, oh, they should be getting world ranking points. Well, well, they did for this. Their tournaments yeah. that they have don't qualify for the world ranking points. Like, have a well, seventy-two hole event, but that doesn't even matter anymore because there's a bunch of that have fifty. I think it's, it's other who? stuff. What? What? I don't know. There's some Asian ones. That, okay, but well, that, there's other things that are not allowing them to get the ranking points. It's not the fifty hole four hole thing anymore. What else? Something about relegation, so they don't have a true like relegation and yeah, they don't they have a stay up there yeah, all the time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they don't but, have a a build your way up system, yeah. which is but they will and they could. I mean, they do now. If they do, they could they do, do other things too. They've they've done nothing to accommodate that either. Yeah, they just keep doing their own thing. Yeah, like all you got to do, you're, you're doing this feeder system and this relegation thing and and whatnot, but you're still not checking other boxes. Yeah, yeah. Like just make yep. the slightest modification. Exactly. Yeah, and I it'll think all it's be like good. they're stubborn yeah. about well, I think their too, formula. Yeah. Part of it was these guys, when they went over, they were probably promised or they were talking in the back. They're like, oh, yeah, they'll let us into majors. It'll be fine. Yes. And then now they've let them into majors and it's fine. But now they're like, well, we should just get in all the time. Like, give us a w- ranking point yeah. so we can always be there. Well, you got into this one because these guys were good enough to get in in the first place. And sure, they, they did well in a small, we talked about it last week, it's, Okay, 88 start, and in this case, 53 made it. 
So there's not that many guys that got cut when you factor in that 10 of those guys were never making the cut probably yep. anyway. So it's like, okay, well, that's part one. You get some ranking points. But yeah, sure, we knew that there was eight to ten good players on that tour because when they left the PGA Tour, we knew that PGA lost some of those good players. Yeah. They're just not the big names or they're guys that people didn't like. And I know Knup had mentioned, too, that – if it wasn't for the live guys, this tournament might not be as exciting. Well, you remove live from that, then there just isn't a four shot lead on Saturday, and there's it's actually closer until Rom runs away with it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's the same tournament whether the live guys are in there or not. And if the it's live just, didn't yeah. exist, oh, Brooks sure. was still playing in this tournament anyways. So Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. it doesn't matter. It, like, they're they're more nervous together because he has all those exemptions still. Yeah, they're yeah. more nervous now about okay, they got in, they didn't think or they knew all along they were going to get in because of world ranking. But as soon as they start losing that, that's what the all of these majors have said is like, yeah, we'll let you in, knowing in the back of their mind that They'll they ain't going to be in like, in two years. Yeah, like Jason Kokrak played in his last Masters, probably. <laughs> yeah, You're lots right? of them did. Yeah, yeah. So and it's the, like, yeah, you're going to lose it. The surprising thing for, for me was Cam Smith and DJ were the two guys that I was talking about, and those guys didn't really do much. Right. No. Then you have but Cam Smith should stay up long enough to – Well, he's got if he, if he four can, more years yeah. before he even drops out. So. Yeah. yeah. And who knows what happens by then. DJ's a lifer. Um, one yeah. thing we haven't really touched about is Rory, other than Knoop's backhanded shot at him, but yeah. is that the most disappointing performance in golf history? <laughs> golf history. <laughs> Well, th- like, he's playing as well as he ever has coming into this thing. Me at Copper Creek last year was the most disappointing <laughs> performance uh, in golf history. You know, you have a point there. In professional um, golf history. I'll professional, <laughs> okay, yeah. I will like, might be say, right there. I will say it's <laughs> it's quite disappointing, for sure. Because, like, this was the year that, like, he's finally got it figured out. Yeah. He had a good showing last year. Yeah. He, he just played a the pile of practice stuff. rounds there. and He was ready to go, and like, it was holes, just underwhel- underwhelming from the get-go. Yeah. For that guy. Uh, like, so do you think that he's going to maybe like cut half an inch off all of his clubs next week when he comes back? or Just to try it out? Change it up or what? Because well, he, he did that, okay, he did that well, off the driver, and it worked. But well, what Spieth said about else. playing too much golf, like these guys have been playing a pretty busy schedule coming up in the Masters. For like, live? Hmm? The argument for the live. argument wow. for rejiggering the elevated event. Yes, yeah. and especially this week too. Like but this is a I've, joke that that's this one's a, elevated. That's a good lead into Rory now not playing this week. Tiger and him go into a room and get all these people together. Tiger doesn't play anymore. He's going to play four, maybe five times a year. So he tells all of his minions to, "Hey, you guys got to play in these events. You can't skip any. You can skip one." And now Rory's come out and he's already skipping his second one. Well, you guys just had this huge meeting last. Yeah, you summer. don't know that he's not hurt, though. <laughs> You're assuming he's hurt. Well, he could be. Okay, if he, he is, I'll take, get hurt. If he, if he, he is, I will take no, it. No, Rory didn't withdraw. He just missed he the would, cut. No, he withdrew no, this, this week. week. This week. You're saying? Oh you know, yeah, how do yeah. We know he's not oh, hurt? Yeah, well, he withdrew. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant for right. The like, but um, you guys all have to play in this, and now Rory's doing his own thing, and nothing will happen because. He's their poster. You might lose pip money. But I'm gonna probably not going to. I'm gonna tie. Two, I'm gonna tie two points. A point. And I'm gonna lead into one because I'm not sure if you have it on there. Uh, one of the things to Knoop's point about him and Tiger kind of drumming up all this. I think he's distracted with all of this stuff and trying to be the promoter oh, of yeah. the tour. He's distracted. Another reason why he's distracted is I cannot believe that. CBS or Rory or Max Homa agreed to talk with a head like that's that's mm-hmm. cool to do on regular events, but the Masters and they're doing on course interviews. I can't believe I love it. I can't it's, believe. Don't that. get me wrong, it's great, but I still I can't believe they agreed to that. I can't believe it. it and was bo- just I think Thursday, both guys right? bogeyed the holes they played. They were talking, and now were they talking to him or were they getting fed information? <laughs> Because that tweet came out. Yeah. This one breaks to the left. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty sure Max, I think they both bogeyed the holes they were talking mm-hmm. on. Well, Rory was nine. Max did for sure. Max did for sure. Uh, no. Because, no, he had just made two bogeys, I think. Because Max Cause was, was on got, the fringe. Max was on the par, fringe. On and then he ended up making birdie birdie or birdie eagle. Because he had, right after that, he had talked about getting 
back to under par for the tournament mm. and his next hole or the boat maybe it was the hole after it yeah i thought they eagle. both bogeyed the holes but, they had in but either way it was just wild to me because rory's like yeah i gotta turn it around here on the back nine yeah. and that was yeah. those were the only two interviews right just thursday just those yeah. two yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. speaking Still, of cheating uh speak. morikawa kind of it looked like he was cheating to begin with oh, and yeah. then if you don't actually just you know cherry pick the video it uh turns out he did nothing wrong yeah <laughs> so but that got, that, happens, that got eh? the world astir for a little bit but because what was the story his his ball had come to rest and then it rolled backwards and he had just he, replaced it right he couldn't he marked it then when he went to put it down gotcha. pulled his coin away and it rolled yeah, backwards okay. so then he marked where it, it rolled it to, to yeah just in case and then he gets to put it back to yeah. where it is yeah so again just like the marking of the ball on the lip within a centimeter yeah. or two or yeah. whatever yeah. it is it's yeah. it's okay but that uh, yeah, got the world uh world uh freaking out for a little bit uh a couple of last ones here we got to talk about bryson um, do we oof. well he missed like the cut briefly but he's, wow he's 19 over par since saying this is a par 67 and if you take into account it's a par 67 he's 69 over par <laughs> since, <laughs> since that comment so so he's not doing too hot since uh yeah. tearing that since, place down a little since bit bernard beat his brains in <laughs> yeah so um i didn't see one shot of his i haven't even no, went i haven't went on the app to look at one shot of his nope he's yeah. probably the guy that i think has faded the most since the live Oh, Switch. easily. Just, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, in general. Gone. Like, he's easily. not even good on that tour. No. Or whatever you want to call it. Series. No, he's, he's gone. Not. Haven't seen an interview with him in like, ages. Not even good. Like, does he still I'm wear the hat? I'm one. Like, does he still use all the same length clubs? Yes. He does, but he has all new, or he has a new brand. He's not with Cobra anymore. He's using Ping Irons. Yeah. Yeah. We knew, hmm. I knew Cobra dropped him, but it's just like, does he, does he wear a Ping? Uh, Fedora? No, I couldn't even tell you. Fedora. No, he, he was, fedora. He's wearing his, uh, his live. <laughs> They're stanzos. Called? They're nice. What are they called? <laughs> Whatever. Just You don't even know. Weird hats. Yeah. yeah. So Fedora's closer <laughs> than no answer at all. Yeah, weird hat's closer <laughs> than Fedora. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One la- couple last ones here. Do you guys see Thomas Peters? Yep. On hole 10 where he just <laughs> threw his driver right <laughs> in the garbage? In his last Masters? Yeah. I saw I mean, really? Yeah. Yeah, he, is did, he Thomas hit three wood. Pe- Has anyone seen Thomas Peters and Brock or Bronell in the same room? Because they're the same guy on the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> he threw it, snapping so he threw clubs it over his neck, <laughs> throwing clubs in yeah. the garbage. Super talented. Yeah, I <laughs> get it. it. I get it. He threw it in tall. the garbage, <laughs> and then uh, I am proceeded, tall. And then proceeded to hit three wood for the rest of the round, and hit every fairway. Yeah. Jeez. I mean, granted, he was way out on all of them, but still. still. Can you yeah. guys believe Phil Mickelson was T two at this event? <laughs> I already said my piece about that. He was backdoor T2. I don't care if it was front door, back door, side door, trap door, whatever doors. <laughs> he was I mean, doors that go both ways. I don't, I don't care. French, uh, French doors. <laughs> yeah. He was here last week. It goes both ways. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, le- the lefty fans were, were it's going It's insane. Wild. The Matt. last one I want to talk last about one. is... What the hell is Augusta National doing dogging Sandy Lyle like that in his last Masters ever? Actually, happy you said this. Kokrak even shit yeah, on them for it. Like, yeah. he's just got to go and finish that hole. Like, what does it matter? Yeah. There's no one behind. Like, It ended up being a cool moment, though, because Sandy Lyle or um, Larry Mize was behind them. And Lyle waited for Mize to get off their green, and they kind of walked out together. So yeah. it ended up being kind of neat, but yes. Was he it, said he had a pile of whiskey or something. Yeah. And tequila while he waited. Was it yeah. Mize yeah. or Lyle that was using the ball marker on his glove to mark his Mize. Ball? Yeah. It was Mize. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing one of the rain gloves, and he was always he always kept reaching at it, taking off the little button and putting it on the ground. That guy like, just what holds is he like doing? suspenders, the whole nine yards oh, with that man. guy. Um, Larry Mize is Canadians? the one that uh, gave like the 97 double fist pumps when he chipped in, right? Doubles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, doubles, Randy. <laughs> yeah. um, that's, all, that's all I had written down. If you guys have got anything else you want to add. No, let's get into picks. Well, uh, we got to do Ace's birthday well, shots. Oh, right. Yeah. And Cana- well, Canadians first. Canadians, Canadians first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of a, not a great week for the Canadians other than Matthews T29, which is 
his best finish ever at the Masters, but kind of disappointing as a whole for the Canadians. Uh, Weir had that solo round Thursday, shot 72. Who withdrew? Um, he was with Nah. That's nah. right, yeah. yeah. His fingers hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The original... Uh, <laughs> Caught one thin DTG. in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> First DTG meme ever, probably. That guy's that was fun. We used to do. You talk, you're talking about uh, Bryson fading away. Nah, wow. they weren't even in the same league though before that. Kevin Nah was winning PGA Tour events a couple years ago. Bryson yeah, was winning majors a couple years yeah. ago, but yeah. well, was he? B and G that place. So, <laughs> yeah, like Mike played solo Thursday, the dream. And then he got paired with that that guy for Friday. The starter guy. Yeah, yeah. not the starter, shot seventy six. Uh, I think whatever the f- scoring guy that walks around with him, right? Yeah. Who always gets the play, right? No, yeah. it was a different guy. No, he retired. Did it's he? A different yeah. guy. Oh, why, would right yeah. Yeah. Retire, why would you ever retire? Why would you ever retire if that's yeah. like they found a new guy? Oh, he was getting too forced old. retired. Oh yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Anyways, retirement, they call it. he had to play with his other guy on Friday. Shot seventy six. Probably would have made the cut, but he missed the cut on the number, like Weir did. Yeah, yeah. So yes. it was it uh, was kind of neat when you flip pulled the app up first thing Thursday morning. Mike Weir was right at the top. Yeah, uh, the most disappointing player probably in general, Corey Connors, Can- Canadian or not, was Corey Connors. Yeah, missed yeah. the cut after three straight top tens. Yeah, so. I know. I picked him. Yeah, it's poor. So take that for what you will. But yeah. you're <laughs> no one jinx guy. Uh, oh, I believe in him for sure. Svensson also missed the cut. He was pretty bad. Do you guys see Svensson's girlfriend hit that shot on the par three contest? She yes. Gabby Powell. S- sculled her into the, the Ganas behind the yeah. green. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And she's a golfer. She looked good doing it, though. So. Huh. Uh, that's it. Aces. Aces. Well, there wasn't really any, but if you count all the ones on the par three day, there was a pile of them. Well, we did last week. We counted all of them. All the what? I don't know. Set made a practice round ace or oh, something. Oh, you guys are we counting count them. Yeah, Bubba <laughs> had one. Hoagie had one. Scotty had one. And Power went back to back. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's something else. I don't care where it is. Do you think no. he? Because you get glasses for that, Crystal, right? Yeah. So does he get an extra special one for two uh, in a row? That's a good two. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's a one of those big ones. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Steins? I know guys that can't make back-to-back four-footers, let alone back-to-back aces. So. Yeah, one sitting to your right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, birthdays. Uh, I'll get there in regulation, <laughs> though. Couple, it's for par. A couple yeah. live guys' birthdays. Brennan Steele and Henrik Stenson had their birthday this week. And I'm sure, as everyone knows, it was Sevy Bay's Theros' birthday yesterday. Maddie, I'm aware. did you know? I'm aware, yeah. Okay. Shots of the week. Um, Who's got one? I go Mine first. is... Mine's Cam Smith out okay. of the bunker on eight. Yeah, that was unreal. Uh, from whatever, 280. Was it three wood? Yeah, 280, three wood out of a bunker to Off the hill, like, five feet or something. Yeah. So yeah. Made eagle. Insane. Uh, mine is uh, Sahit Tagala. Damn it. Mm, <laughs> that's, why I went, steal that's why I went next. You, you, I you knew can't you were sneak gonna... in there like that. <laughs> <laughs> you were stealing it from me. I had Cam Smith eight and Sahit Tagala chipping from Perfect. behind the green on 16. Like, like That shot was better than Tigers. I think so, too. If you take the circumstances it's, out of it the equation. It was harder, for Definitely sure. harder. Because yeah. take at the, least with Tiger, yeah. he could go yeah. up the hill and it just yeah. rolls down. If you take the tie for the, the lead right kind of thing. Line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that makes my decision easy. I'll go John Rom cut 14 to three feet. Sealed it. Oh, from under mm-hmm. the tree? Yeah. Ish. Under the tree. Yeah. yeah. That's the shot that everybody's going to be looking back on for yep. this Masters and saying... Nope. Awesome. Let's go to uh, Dude Wipes, Brooks, Brooks Kepka. Yeah, that's the easiest one there's ever been. Um, <laughs> well, there he choked. It is. I mean, he choked big it's time. One, it's honestly one of the biggest choke jobs in majors in a long time. Yep. Six it's, over from the restart, I think it was, right? John Vanderbilt. Yeah. It's right up there with that. It yeah. is right up there with that choke. He job. just did it earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And over 27 holes, yeah. not <laughs> yeah. one hole. But yep. um, news, like, look at this. That's how much news there is, just on the right there. Hardly That's any. still Hardly. enough. Well, no, it's all of them are no tournaments, but uh, the big news is oh, they're all just like <laughs> you just wrote out PGA no tournament. <laughs> yeah, well, I did. I had to check, so I just was going through the list. Um, the big one, on Hell Cabrera, back from jail, mm. plotting to get returned to golf. I say plotting because he's a criminal. <laughs> um, yeah. 
one wrinkle is he just has to get out of jail first. <laughs> but he is plotting to come back and play golf again. When does he get out? This summer, they're saying. He's in a halfway house already. So he'll be he'll be out this summer. So, so do you, so you commit a, a homicide and you get out like three? It years wasn't later? homicide. It wasn't a homicide. He just ran oh. someone over with his car. Yeah. Oh, on right. purpose. Attempted. Yeah. Attempted on homicide. Purpose. So he'll be yeah. back in the Masters next year. Yeah. 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 Do they let him back? <laughs> Why wouldn't they? They let Brooks back. They let DJ back. DJ. Yeah, but they're not criminals. They work for criminals. Yeah, pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> The, their uh, bosses have committed more <laughs> heinous crimes than yeah, running the guy over. <laughs> yeah. That's not them. Did you see that thing that, again, the Live Tracker posted that uh, I guess the PJ Tour was promoting like Ubers around Augusta, like use oh, Uber yeah. and stuff, but now the Saudis oh, yeah. invested a ton of money into Uber. So Yeah. Well, it's just a matter of time. It's all Greg Norman. This yeah. It's all Greg Norman. <laughs> yeah. there, there will be a partnership with this. Maybe not playing in every event they want, mm-hmm. but it'll be a lot more friendly as soon as they turf great Norman from the live. Yeah. Uh, back to Angel. He's on that exclusive list of guys that have won the Masters and the U.S. Open. They kept showing it on Twitter. He's on it. John Rahm's on it. Hmm. Elite. 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 He's an elite. Is it elite? Like, there's got to be quite a few. It's under 10. Yeah. Well, there's Spieth and DJ. and I think Rahm's the first European to win both they said that he is yeah yep because he was amazed hmm. that the that u.s the open case. and the masters yep, yep. Hmm. that's a fun fact yep um we already covered rory with drawing from the heritage um probably embarrassed they wrote but yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then just the rest I are wrote. just champions canadian lpj dp world tour and corn had no tournaments this weekend that's it for news hmm. that's, that's it. it for news i told you it was quick like wow. the quickest news ever there had one, to have been more one it was well, Masters, Masters, back. Masters, I Attempted went through the murder. whole group chat, and it was like all, all Masters Master stuff. stuff so yeah. like, okay. there's probably some other things. I could have. I started going on the websites for other tours and just like, because there was like some articles about stuff going on on those, but we'll leave them for another time. Not a boy. Okay. Uh, okay. Pick recap. Good for you. Maddie B won the week. You're welcome. For what? For what? Well, I didn't pick John Rahm. I didn't want to jinx him. So I took mm. DJ instead. I, you know, I, I do not accept your welcome. Well, whether you accept it or not, I'm still saying still it. Still saying so. it, yeah. yeah. Uh, he had... What a So week. the standings are Matty B, 13, Bronell, 13, Knoop, 10, Harv, 7. Welcome. 7. Uh, Matty B had five points this week, so picked winner, and then the majors are worth four. Woo. Worth it for me. To yeah, get Rom the win? Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. Do you just ever feel bad that you were like a year or two early on that bet you said when you said John Ram was going to win the major or Olympics? I like said he's going to win the Masters two years ago, and then I said it again last year. And then you didn't say didn't it say year. it this year. No. Yeah. So didn't so you just some meanwhile little I early. bet on him to win the Masters and he won. Yeah. Well, you're welcome. Hmm. A couple <laughs> jinxes there. Um, he Not, Maddie B had Jason Day 39th. Kurt Kitayama missed the cut 54. Uh, Patrick Reed fourth and John Rahm first for a twenty four point five average. Good read pick. Got to give you props yeah. there. Thank I, you. I was second. Lucky. But. I had uh, Connors miss the cut fifty four. You were second. Yeah. Tom Kim sixteenth. Matty B let me pick him. All right. And uh, Rory still last. Rory missed the cut fifty four and Brooks Kepka second for a thirty one point five average. It was between Tom Kim and Bradley and Bradley wasn't too bad. Yeah, he made the cut. He was fine. 30th, was, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't. If I would have took Bradley, I wouldn't have got second. No, you wouldn't. Have. Uh, Bronell was third. He had DJ 48th, Horschel 52nd, Cantley 14th, and Justin Rose 16th for a 32.5 average. Only guy with four made cuts. Third. Uh, Knup was fourth. He had Scheffler 10th, Lowry 16th, uh, Minwoo Lee missed the cut 54th, and Tiger Woods withdrew for 55. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. And a 33.75 <laughs> average. So. Jesus. It's actually pretty close in yep. this one. 13-13. Yeah. Feels good. Welcome. Yeah. It's nice. Haven't been at the top of the standings in years. No, you haven't. No. You've been pretty bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pretty excited about Preview. this Preview. Yeah, format. a short one. Uh, RBC Heritage this week's seventh elevated event of uh, of the year. For no reason. Which is <laughs> crazy. Like they got to change this up because July well, they and need August. guys like, to be at the... The week after the Masters. Well, they they said, should, next is there year, even another one after Memorial? 
Make it the know. event before the majors, like the Canadian Open. Yes, exactly. Right? I don't think they want to make people play the week before majors, though. Why do you want to make them play the week after? Don't know. It's a great question. It's but even th- I stupider. think they said they're going to go two weeks of elevated events, three weeks of regular, two, three, and then they're going to alternate. I don't think the there's another elevated year. event after this. Don't know. After the Memorial, sorry. M- yeah, after Memorial, you might be right. Because then you got Canadian Open, you got 3M, Rocket Mortgage, yeah. all those Junk. other John Deere's. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Harbor Town Golf Links, Hilton Head, South Carolina, par 71, playing 7,191 yards. Um, Spieth returns this week uh, to defend his championship. He beat uh, Cantley last year in a playoff. Uh, top tw- or 20 of the top 25 are playing this week, uh, as well as 40 of the top 50. Wow. Um, some surprising players playing this week. Ernie Els sponsors invite this week. Uh, and really? same with uh, Jim Furyk. Former champ, though. Fury. Fury multiple, makes sense. yes, yeah. multiple yes. champs. Still an RBC guy, too, isn't he? I believe so. Yeah. Obviously, uh, someone's picking him. That is it for me. Nice I and quick. Cats of the bag there, Harv. No, I didn't write him down. That's nice That's and it. quick, eh? Nice and quick. Done. Okay, picks. Maddie B's up first. I have a method here, and I hope I think I can get both of these guys if I go can you, this guy first. Hold on, just a sec. Can you remind me of how this goes again? You can't pick top 50. What? Okay. I couldn't, you I couldn't remember top if it was 25 or top, 50, top 50, 50 for someone else. Okay. Yeah. Five Canadians this week. Names. Connors, Hadwin, Pendrith, Spence, and Taylor. Okay. I think I can get both of these guys if I do it in this order. I'm going to take, with my first pick, I'm going to take Webb Simpson. Previously won and lost in a playoff. Yep. He is a good pick here. I'm going to take, I said I'd never take this guy again, but I'm going to do it. Matt Kuchar. Fuck you. Yep. I knew it. What do you mean, fuck you? Well, he's at the top of my list. He's at that, the top of my list. Well, you said you'd never take him again, though. Yeah, I know, but I could have You can't go back on your could word. Could be the same list. <laughs> I, do I it said all I'd never the time. take Cam Davis again, but I might have to now. I do it now. all the time. All no, because I'm going to take him next, so don't <laughs> He do finished that. third last year. I know he did. Gosh, okay. you guys. I wanted both those guys. I got them both written down. Okay. I got all kinds of old guys written down here. Yeah. Take I'm, take, I'm okay. taking Mac Hughes, so. Okay. I like that pick, actually. Yep. I think my I think my plan might work. Got one more bullet to dodge. I thought I thought you were talking Kucher for your second guy. No, nope. like, there's no way that he's getting back to you. This guy's nope. got he's ten for ten cuts made with four top fives. I here. mean, thanks for the jinx, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I got more too if you want. <laughs> nope, don't care. Uh, uh, Taylor Montgomery for me. Okay, dodge the bullet. Did work. I'm gonna. I, I think he's. I think he's running hot. I'm gonna take Gary Woodland. Ah, I knew it. Yeah, he's also on my. That list. was the guy that I wanted because I, yeah. I thought Webb was gonna go in the first round. So I was gonna take Gary then Webb, but I went Webb. Oh, Gary. Woodland. Woodland shows up at the good events though. Was yes. He'll was Webb? Would week. you guys yeah, have picked Webb stink. in the first round? No, not in the first round. I no. wouldn't have picked him. Period. Okay. You picked him like a few weeks I ago. I know. And he yeah, fucking literally sucked. <laughs> just and took he was him. awful. And I, I was saying, I will never take him ever again. It wasn't yeah. at Hilton. Yes, Head. it was out of course that he plays really well at. What, the players? Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, don't yeah, pick did. the players. Yeah. Uh, I'll take Wyndham Clark. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm taking a guy that's been on the rise for quite some time now and that I've picked a few times before, Ricky Fowler. Duh. It was between him and Stewie Sink. Stewie? Mm. No. Coop's, Coop's a big sink guy. He might go stew. <laughs> that will not have to not be happening this week. He won two years ago here. I know. Kucher's 51 in the world, hey? Yeah. He's been playing good. Uh, you guys are tied now? Yeah, right. so you can fuck him for once. I, I, I am. Okay, yes, thanks. Don't Thank worry. You. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to give Matty B. No, uh, don't do it. Don't do Billy it. Billy Horschel. Yes. Really? Yep. Yes. Just so I can give, turn around and give Bronel. I'll give you a, I'll give you a pick. You can take Ryan Fox or Kevin Kisner. Is Ki- I looked today. Kisner I thought Kisner was good. outside of the top 50. Nope. Kevin Unless, Kisner's 47. No. Yeah, on this site. Well, but I, th- I yeah, looked at yeah, but on this site, if you go to the top, Scheffler's also ranked first. Okay. So if you go to world rankings right now, I think Kisner's outside the top fifty. I'm gonna go to it right now. O W G R. But this easy office pools dot com that Canoop sent it for some reason it probably populates on Sundays. 
or actually on Fridays when the actual field gets announced? Answer. Kevin Kisner's 53 now. Yeah. So you don't get your choice anymore. You are now stuck with Ryan Fox. All right. I wanted him anyway. I hate that. He's, he's, he will do well this week. Huh? Fox will do well. So Maddie B. I didn't want, I wanted anyone but Kisner. So that's fine. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So you are Matt, you are Fox. I have Fox. Fox. Fox, Yep. Yeah. So I have to give to me, to you. And then you give to me. Correct. That's right. I'll give Knoop uh, Cagely. I have no idea. Okay. <clears throat> give you should give Harv Scotty Scheffler. Uh, well, I gave him John one, Rom once already this year. There's no way Scotty Scheffler. He's he's just he's on to on to next week, on to three weeks from now. Uh, a sad little puppy. You know who I'm going to give you? Corey Connors. Okay. Hey, you get to cheer for him. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? That your last? No, no, that's Knoop. it. Oh, Knoop's Knoop got to pick for himself. More. Yeah. Yeah. Last one for himself. Uh, sorry, who did you just give away? Corey Connors to Corey. Connors to Harv. It's a Corey Corey situation. What's wrong yeah, with that? Classic <laughs> course. You're gonna blow a lot of people's <laughs> minds saying that. <laughs> Didn't have you pegged for Corey, eh? <laughs> no one does. Well, he won two weeks ago. He stunk last week. He's probably still down in the dumps. Maybe. I don't know. Ball he doesn't give a shit right now. I'm okay with Harv winning this week. He doesn't give a shit right now. Sorry, who's your third? Oh, Ryan what? Fox. Hughes, no, Hughes Fox is who I have right now. Ricky. Oh, yes. Why are you even writing these down when you're not going to create this thing till two days from now? Because you know what's going to happen. Well, hey, to remind who you. does everybody have? <laughs> And then, yeah, and then it's and this I know guy right here say, that's like, I, I don't know. know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't that's know. Right. That's right. And he doesn't it's ever you, know. It's you in the moment saying, I don't know. Live on the pod. Well, that's why I ask. So I know. <laughs> Pick Stu Sinkham. Let's get this over no, with. Ben Griffin. Yeah. Ben Griffin. Yeah. No Jim Furyk, okay? No one had no. the stones. That might be a blunder. Maybe your best bet I'm situation. Bet, I'm betting no. Top 20? I'll tell you right now. I got a top 20 parlay. Go for mm. it. Let's Names. hear it. I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna build it Kucher live. Kucher and Rose top twenty, plus ten twenty. That really? Can't, that can't be right. I put it in the website today. Top finishes. I'm heading, there. In the I'm matrix. heading there to make it right now. Top twenty. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be it. I mean, this is a pretty strong field. So Kucher and Rose, ten twenty bet, ten bucks. My other one was Pendrith top Canadian for plus six hundred. Hmm. I like that. It's not bad. They're all not playing well right now. Hughes is okay. Uh, what was yeah. the other one? Jim Furyk? Top 20? Well, let me keep scrolling. Holy. I know. Still ha- scrolling. Yeah. Still scroll. Plus 1,400? Phil at the Masters, man. But this is for top 20. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Let's take them. Phil's was top plus, 10. Let's take them top, top 40 for plus 425. Oh, that might be the bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. He ain't making the cut. Yes, he is. Um, I'm going with something Harv hates. I'm going with an outright this week. Well, it ain't getting picked. Justin Thomas, 26 to 1. Hmm. No, we ain't picking an outright. Yeah. Not on this no, show. That's, that's my pick. So when it ha- when it hits, we will when play the audio. My picks, my <laughs> that's picks, all that matters. My pick is Jim Furyk top forty for plus four twenty five. Can you qualify that just a little bit? Like what's just cause? Just cause the, the number is good. That's why. Okay. He's got something to prove this week. Do you know what his um, past performance has been like here? No. Okay. I don't think I he's actually, ever. No, I, has I don't he ever played know. here? Like it's got to be times a while probably. since he's played this one. There's yeah. a lot of people playing this week that have never been here before. Yeah. Um, just for funsies, I added Rom, Cantley, and Spieth into that top 40 and bumped the odds up to 1152. Hmm. Like they all got to be good, right? Spieth's probably missing the cut this week. <laughs> Defending champ? He's tired. I actually. He might withdraw. My thought was that we pick him to miss the cut. Okay, so with, can you pick a guy to withdraw? That'd be sweet. <laughs> so we just want to go straight Jim Furyk, top 40 then? <laughs> I like that. Or do you like Harv's? What's yours, Canoop? 
I think that there's going to be an albatross. <laughs> oh my god! So not that. Not plus, that it's only plus, plus twelve hundred. Yeah, plus twelve hundred for an albatross. Like <laughs> until that gets up to like plus four thousand, we will never pick it. No, I, that's yeah. insane. The fact that it's plus twelve hundred every week, like they don't even change that one. No, they just leave it there. Like, How no many people you think bet that? No one. It has to be. Why is it only you throw a, bu- to one? a lot of people throwing a buck one. down on that? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but they're I, not, actually. Yeah. I probably would. Yeah. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> For uh, Twelve weeks. <laughs> I actually don't yeah. mind uh, first round leader Keegan Bradley. <laughs> What's mm. that? Like pay Hold out. On. I can't remember what it is. I'm just going to look it up. You wanted my reason for a JT win? Uh, What's 61 to 1. What's your reason for that? He's always up there after the first round. Always? <laughs> Not here, but he <laughs> always is. Okay. He's always up there. Uh, okay. okay. I might have to bet it because mm. I have some money in there now. Okay. Mm. I know you I guys hate it. I think it's the it, top 40. Yep. It's got to be. Plus 425? Yeah. Got to be. Yep. I also already bet your... Top 20 parlay, too. Yeah, they're both playing well. And I added Rom and Cantley. I took off Spieth. So it's Rom, Cantley, and Furyk for plus 750. I mean, keep in mind, I did pick Kucher in the bets, so he's due to suck. Yep, that's a good point. That's a good point. Uh, you guys got anything else for this Masters uh, recap episode? Furyk, oh, really. T40. Furyk, Just T40, plus 425. How, how happy is Callaway right now that they nab John Ram, though? Right. Yeah, I think happy. everybody should be happy that Callaway made the paradigm driver. Yes, the pros are extremely happy. Yes, so are we. We'll be everyone happy will be. Enough. Yeah, well. and they even tweeted about Phil on the weekend. He's yeah, back in, in the he's fold. Back. He's, he's back almost in out the of jail. Fold. Yeah, which was crazier, Callaway tweeting about Phil or the PGA tweeting about Brooks? Ooh, you mean when they got the it's got, got it wrong? Be, PGA got over be Brooks. Brooks. Yeah, when PGA they posted it, that he shot sixty-seven in round two or whatever. Yeah. Has was to leading be. by three. Yeah, yeah, because it's not even their tournament. So why are they even talking yeah. about him? And he doesn't play. Well, on it their is. Tour. Yeah, it is. No, it's, it's not on their circuit. It's on their circuit, yeah. but it's on the schedule. Counts towards the FedEx points. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah, I just can't believe it's over now. You can't. I'm just sad. Hmm. I just want to go outside and play golf now. Yeah, I can't. Our three, course is three flooding. To, well, these guys are going to Manhattan weeks. this week, apparently. Of course, is flooding. Maybe. I was hitting balls into the field. You guys going or what? Don't know yet. You don't know yet. Is it even open? It opens Wednesday. I got nothing going on next week. Probably go next week. My wife and kids are leaving tomorrow f- till Saturday, so oh. that doesn't oh. help me. Okay. Mine are gone all How'd week. you get stuck walking the dog then? Uh, I, I wanted to go walk around the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come over and play sim golf? Or hit balls at... Wow, out. fuck. Every time I ask you, you say, nah, I don't like it. Got golf. a driver now. He's ready to go. Well, no. Did Ooh, he got brought- about that. <laughs> you didn't even bring it over. How many reminders does a guy need? But yeah, I'll come over and play this week. Sure. Okay. Three aside, I get. Tell me when. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'd even I don't play care. too. Yeah. Harv's got his new shoes. I go. Those? My invite's in the mail. Got to. Well, you can to come. play indoor golf? Oh, yeah. Have to. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> anyway. Apparently, Harv was the only guy Canoop wanted to go to Med Hat, though. Me, and you, me and you didn't get in. <laughs> no. hey, didn't get in to ask. He's been talking about how busy he is at work, and he cannot get out. Yeah, that's so true. I knew it wasn't anything to me. How do you know how busy at work? <laughs> I don't even think that's. I don't even no. think those words have been in the same sentence in years. And and I don't you know want to drive got, with you for well, five hours little, there, little five hours here. back. Yeah, it's only three in it. Three definitely don't ask him quarter. to help Perfect. to t- switch off driving. He can't drive with that injury. It's a, it would be a trial run. We got to drive to Elk in two months. Less than yeah, two but months. we have other people in there. Yeah. Oh, you guys are both in the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> Not with that bickering that about the the radar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I hope everyone uh, decompresses <laughs> after the Masters with the RBC Heritage <laughs> this week. We'll be back next week to recap and then preview. Whatever the hell's after that. Memorial? <laughs> Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> but until then, it's time for us to hit the clubhouse. <laughs>